We turn now to the Twin Cities. The town of Normal is doubling down its commitment to renewable energy with the purchase of two new vehicles. Our Austin Schick joins us live now with why a council signed off on buying two new trucks from EV maker Rivian. Austin. Well, yeah, Mark Shelby, with this purchase, Normal will replace two of its older vehicles in its fleet of town-owned vehicles. They're purchasing an R1T, that's Rivian's pickup truck, and an R1S, that's Rivian's SUV, for town use. Now, supporters say it's an act of goodwill towards a company that's invested so much and the town has seen so many benefits from since Rivian came to town and invested in the old Mitsubishi plant. Now, although it wasn't listed on council documents tonight, staff say they've budgeted a hundred $149,000 and some change for the cars, and they've already put down $2,000 as part of a pre-order. Now, in the past, many town-owned vehicles were purchased from Mitsubishi when they were here. Council only passing this purchase, however, by a slim 4-3 to three vote. Now, those supporting it say, you know, Rivian's put the town on the map, but members that voted no argued it shouldn't be the taxpayers that are fitting the bill. When they bought the plant, they have since doubled it. And that's generated about $2 million in development fees for the town uh, as a result of that. If we could have directly used some of those dollars that were not tax dollars uh, for it, I would have been in support. Your checkbook has $3 million more in it than it would have been <laughs> before. Okay. And so writing 150000 out of your $3 million richer checkbook is what we're saying. No, I don't have a problem if we can't say that exact dollar came from Rivian. It's, I'm, I'm okay with that. Our checkbook is richer because of that. Now, supporters like McCarthy say these vehicles will also have less maintenance costs associated with them, and they're pointing towards current electric vehicles in the town-owned fleet that are currently made by Mitsubishi, only needing new tires and new windshields, some of those vehicles over 10 years old. Now, these vehicles are available for various staff departments to uh, check out, for lack of a better term, with the, with the town and uh, take them to out-of-town conferences and, you know, other needs they may need them for. Mark Shelby.